So welcome back. The set notation and Venn diagram. First, we need to know uh, what is set. That that is very important part. I think everyone can see my uh, open. Uh, that means a whiteboard. Yes. Sir. Yes. Could it be louder, please? Everyone can see. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. That's good. So let's start the topic. That is first. Uh, the topic name is set notation first uh, let's start with set notation first what is set first question arise what is set okay okay now uh, answer of this definitely will be uh, our things that is a set is a collection of object we can also note down is a collection of objects now this objects can be anything for example for example if I'm going to take set of furniture like chair uh, table door okay so like this whatever you're going to um, collect what you're going to collect as a form of furniture so that can come into this set. Now, if I'm going to take another example, suppose what we are doing in daily life, suppose who are, are, are included in our daily life. So if you are going to conclude that part into your working, so how you are going to write it? Okay, that is another important part. So if I'm going to write that word in this nature, suppose we are having human, animals right we are using uh, varieties of non-living things like house furniture okay and not other things also like vehicles or maybe transportation we are using any other things which is coming over here so you can see in this example, set of I said set is a collection of object. So object is not particularly only be numbers. I can represent or we can represent set as a form of anything. Like which one is possible to express by you. Now in this one, now every set when you're going to express, you have to give a name. So this one is I have given a name as a furniture. So this one my uh, name as furniture. Now. Okay, so in this furniture category, these other things are there. But when you're talking about the which are the natural being, or uh, you are using in daily life, or natural being, being or daily life. So to, this is the set of all of the objects which is can be which can be considered. Now, when you come is the mathematical values, you can give a number, number set, or number system, or alphabet and number together. If I'm going to write a one, b two. C3, D4. So like this, I can create a number and alphabet. So I can I can write alphabet and number as my set. Okay. So like this, you can create different kind of object. You can bring it in a single a form. So that you will consider as a set. Next thing we are going to discuss about what is a notation of set. So notation of set is very, very another important part. So notation, how we are going to represent it. So the first example only you have seen, we are using curly bracket or you can call it second bracket, a second parenthesis to denote as a set. This one is a notation for set, okay? We are writing a form of suppose a is a set a is having values one two three four five so all the values which is between one to five is coming under set now uh, we are going to discuss about what is a subset now i'm going to discuss about subset suppose i'm considering this one only as a value of set a is a value of set 
Now, if I'm going to write, what is with the subset? Subset are the elements, okay, which should be in an original set. So, which should be here. So, if I'm going to take A as my set and another set as called B, is a form of two, three, four. Now, you can consider that, you can see that this one. That means the V value, whatever elements it has, the same elements are there in QA. So I can call B is a subset of A. Okay, this is another important part. One minute, if anyone has come. Okay, so like this, we can consider if anyone can send any messages. No, no messages. Okay, so B is a subset of A. Now, how are you going to denote it? Now, this is a, another part we need to consider what will be the notation of subset. Notations is like this this is the notation for subset. So B subset of A, okay? So you can just note down, quickly note down. So we can, then next part we will go with the universal set. Okay, now let me take you further. Uh, the things are like how you're going to, how many types of subsets are there? Okay, how many subsets you can create when you have a set over here? So you have to consider that when you're going to create a subset, null. Null means you call it empty set. This is the notation for null set. This is called null set. Okay. Uh, this null set or you can call empty set. Now, what is the meaning of empty set? Set is always like kind of a house. Okay. Now, empty house means, does it mean the house is not existing? If I say it's an empty house, does it mean that the house is not existing? No, right? No. no. So that means the, there is existence of house. Okay. So, empty means uh, there is no set into, uh, and there is no element inside the set. That means it has no elements inside set. Okay. For example, if I'm going to write, suppose I is my empty set, so I'll denote like this, or I can denote like this. Okay. Sometimes we denote like this as well. All meaning are same. Okay, this is a set notation form. Okay, now um, this is this name is called phi. So I think the spelling will be this. Okay, this uh, this symbol. I think it's phi. So this one is considered okay now how many subset we can uh, create suppose i am creating as b so i can take two element i can take one element i can take three element all type of combination you can create from here so if you're taking one two three four five there will be a lo lot of lot of subset you can create okay if i create with two elements I can create like this. If I want to consider three elements, I can consider like this. Like if you want to create four elements, so you can write like this.
like this anyway always remember the empty set is always a subset empty set is always a subset so these are the example of subset that you can create from uh, a set that is this okay so this this will be your subset these all values are your subset like this you can create more okay now how many subset can be created it is depending on uh, the formula that is formula is 2 to the power n n is nothing number of element n is number of element okay for example if i am having uh, 1 2 3 4 5 values so 2 to the power 5 2 to the power 5 if you do if you just calculate 2 to the power 5 2 to the 4 to the 8 to the 16 to the 32 okay so 32 subset can be created over here if i am having a value suppose uh, 1 2 3 suppose i am going to take an another set suppose a1 and is considering 1 2 and 3 so 2 to the power 3 that means 8 subset can be created from this set okay and all of the values like uh, when you are going to represent this one you can represent this is a subset of a c is a subset of a d is a subset of a okay like this you can represent it clear okay next part we are going to take it for uh, forward that is uh, universal set what is universal set uh, i had a do you have any question Sir. yes why is 2 the base and 2 to the power of n yeah wh why the base is 2 to the power n okay now values of when you are going to create a, a set or subset okay you are considering you are considering that how many uh, what is called how many values you are going to put it over here okay so when you're going to create a subset, you can create with two values, you can create with three values, you can create with five values. But when you are taking as a, a formation, when it is how many uh, values are will come, so it is a come coming with the, what is called, uh, that is a coming with the permutation combination part. Okay. So how many ways you can represent it? Okay, when you'll talk about permutation, that time I'll explain that how this 2 to the power n has been considered. Okay, so this one actually come from a form that is a plus b whole to the power n. Now there it is the number, at least one element can be considered in a form of set. Okay, at least one element can be considered in a form of set. Okay, let's come to universal set. That means I'm going to consider, uh, this is a notation that is uh, xi. And uh, suppose I'm considering integer, okay, set of integer, which is uh, which has a value of negative infinity to positive infinity. Now, if I consider a new value, suppose I'm creating a set from there, suppose I'm writing minus four, uh, minus three, minus two, minus one, zero one these are the values i'm going to consider or if i'm going to consider suppose i have i need one two three and four or if i'm going to consider another set of values suppose minus two minus one zero one and two okay so all of the values all of the values which is coming as a b or c okay a b or c you can you can see that this one all are from the value from the all the elements that means all elements whoever is the member whoever is the member of the set all the elements are existing in xi so a b c all are subset of xi okay so this so xi will be called then if it is if it is like that if all are subset of xi then xi will be called as a universal set okay will be called as universal set okay 
for example, if I'm going to draw a, a diagram of universal set, how it will look like? Suppose I'm going to I'm going to draw a diagram. Just a minute. So this is a form of set. I'm going to call this uh, say form of set as Xi. Now, there is two more sets. Suppose I'm going to consider one set is called A, or another set is called, suppose, B. Okay. Now, if I'm going to put some number in between them, suppose one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay. Now, if I'm going to write Xi as a set, so I will write one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. If I'm going to write a form of A, what is a set A? I'll write two, four. If I'm going to write what is a set B, I'll write seven, eight. Okay. So you can see what is the what are the elements of A and what are the elements of B are already existing in Xi. So Xi will be considered in a form of this an universal set. Do you have any question? Anyone have any question? No, sir. Let's begin. Now, set notation and Venn diagram set already I have said, uh, means already explained. Okay. There are two more symbol are there. That is, this is one symbol and this is another symbol. So this symbol is called belongs to belongs to and that means this one is not belongs to yes sir okay next when you're going to represent any set the set should come within second bracket you can see over here okay describing means you have to describe suppose this one is a describing of what south africa Nambia, egypt angola what, what, what is this these are What will be what is this? South Africa, Nambia, Jeep, Angola. What is these are actually? Countries. Countries. Okay. So like this, you can write many countries, right? So it is. It will be difficult to uh, write all the countries in a, in a single set. So that's why this dot dot sign has been uh, is there. Okay. Okay, so uh, it is representing that there are many more uh, countries that are involved into that set. Okay, it is given. Okay, now the things are when you are going to consider a set, set has been represented in a form of this x such that, sorry, uh, x such that x is a natural number. That means if I'm going to going to consider my uh, this option this option to so south africa nambia and those things that means my representation of set should be or maybe you like that so i will write a is my set okay where x is my variable and x is a country right if I'm going to say X is a variable, that means X is considered the name of different countries. Am I clear? So like this, you can represent all of the set in a form of set notation. Okay, let us consider the next part of it.
you can see there's a x such that 2 less than equals to x less than equals to 8. What does it mean? Means this set is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So the c value, we are considering these values 2 to 8. But you can represent in a form of this. So x such that 2 less than equals to x less than equals to 8. Does it make sense? Sorry. Yeah. So let us consider, take it further. Okay. There will be, uh, this is the exercise. Okay. Describe the set in words like you said, like, like when we are describing that this is a continent, these are the countries, this is even number, this set of how you're going to write it. So the, my first is Asia, Africa, Europe. So what these are? Set of? Set of what? Set of what? Continent. Yeah? Con continent. Right. Oh, oh, sorry. Right. This is not countries. I was looking at. Now, what is this? Eight. Four, six, eight. This is set of? Even numbers. Great. This is Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. What is this? Uh, set of days of the week. Yeah. So like this, you have, you can consider all of the values and you can uh, you can solve you can solve the problem. Okay. So quickly start quickly start to solve this exercise. Okay. Thereafter, we are going to discuss. So uh, I'm going to just mark you one because then it will be easy for us to take it further. Okay. So these five problem you solve it. So this is now become a set of numbers between between uh, three and twelve, right? Now this one is y such that minus five less than equals to y less than equals to five. So that means this is a also you can like set of integers or you can write set of numbers between between minus five and Right. Similarly, we can we can write for problem number two, question two. Question two is asking the number of elements in a set A is written as N A. So N is number of elements or number of uh, values within a set. Give a value N A for of the finite set in question number one A to K. That means whatever values are um, given over here. Okay. Uh, so you have to give a uh, number of finite set in equation A to K. So what is the finite set you can consider over here? So number of elements, suppose uh, how many continents are there? Okay. How many continents are there presently? Anyone? Seven. Seven? Hello? Is it seven? Yes, sir. Okay. So this one, first one, the number of continents, suppose number of uh, problem number A, I'm just writing as a form of this. So we have seven. So number of elements over seven. Now number B, number B, we have infinite number of values like two, four, six, eight, like it is going on. Like we, we don't know what will be uh, the finite uh, value. Where are you going to end? So if you see that how many values you can check over here to two and four values. So if you feel that you can write that there are a number of elements, you can see that is four. How many elements are there? That is very important. Otherwise, if you're going to consider all the values over here, then definitely it will be infinite. Infinite number of values are uh, there for uh, uh, even number, set of even number. Like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, so we know that with you we have uh, seven days, right? So answer C, the uh, number of elements will be seven. Like this, you can write how many values are there. For example, suppose H, I'm going to check it as H. So number of elements over uh, H will be uh, AI, that means five. You know, there are the five vowels, right? 
So similarly, if we are going for going for g uh, number of elements of g, we can consider between three to twelve means three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there are ten numbers. So number of elements over here ten. Similarly, you can write for um, problem number k and all this. Okay, does it making sense? Okay. Okay. Let Let's take it a little, little more further. Let's take it. using it to go to the next part for that guys okay uh, next thing is subset subset is there we have less time so quickly let's see how it how we can do that uh, like I have already already explained you how this subset is working so uh, this one like uh, there are three goals we need Natalie and Emma are the set of this one as they presented over here and uh, we can consider that number of uh, three three elements was there so two to the power three that means number of subset could be eight we can see b two uh, b c d three four five six seven and eight so eight elements or eight subset sorry eight subset have been considered over here including the empty set okay so we are going to uh, a set is a is empty yeah, there is no element in it then it is called empty set and we represent it as none okay this is a, a, a five value which is represented as a subset so this one also is very important part so let's consider the exercise problem now okay let's take it further remember uh, another one okay another one is there another term that is called a uh, proper subset proper subset is uh, if the elements which is given over in the exercise if you consider over here so you can just check it over here sorry check it over here the c d e f uh, e f g and h they are exactly the elements which is given over here that means which are lesser than uh, lesser than what is called uh, the elements which is in the set A. That means uh, you can see the B, which is B, has the same values which is having A. So you can see the set itself is subset. Okay. So set is a subset of itself. Okay. So another way you can see the other values like C, D, E, F, G, and H, those values, whatever you consider as a set, uh, they are less values of less values of a but all the elements are the elements of set a then it will be considered as proper subset okay and proper subset notation is like that like previous you know that we and you are using greater than and greater than equals to less than and less than equals to how they are interrelated Similarly, uh, this uh, subset and the proper subset are interrelated with the symbol. Proper subset means strictly uh, this uh, uh, slipping u kind of uh, symbol. Okay. So let me take you further. I hope you are getting it. How we are we are solving this question. If you have any question you can raise your, raise your voice so sorry now let me take you to the ex exercise one let me work out example so this time so let's see how fast we can complete it so this is the exercise where you can see where you can see the subset of values there are four set of questions which is given over here sorry uh, 
uh, four subset over here. Four questions are there. Exercise 10.2. The whole number less than 30. So first you have to consider what is your uh, P set. Okay, that you have to write first. What is your P set? Whole number means it will start from zero. Sorry, start from zero. One, two, like this up to 30 you have to write first. Then you can consider, then you can consider other list of Q subset of even number. So if you are going to consider now even number, what are the even number? If they, if they all are, you have to write it over here up to 30. Okay. Now list all the subset R as the odd number. So what are the odd number over here? Like one, three, five, like up to that, up to 29, you have to write over here. Similarly, this is the process how you're going to rearrange as for the definition of different number, like even number, odd number, prime number, square number, triangle number. So those things you are going to, um, you're going to uh, check that what are the properties of those numbers. Okay. And you are going to list down the values. This will be your work. And I'd like to give you this is as a homework. So uh, you can consider a